This tutorial is to create a butthole brush. Sorry, sorry, the pore brush and I have used this brush to create this portrait which is also a course so you can check that out in the description. Now let's focus on creating the pore brush. So first thing we're gonna be subdividing a plane 8 times until we have enough polygon to work with and after that we are gonna start sculpting the pore. My workflow is to add the lines first and then add the volumes later. Make sure that the volumes don't go too far away from the center towards the border of the plane otherwise it's gonna create a problems in the alpha that we are gonna be generating. Add some line to create some randomness and to break up the surface. Now it's time to bake the texture. So for that we're gonna use the shader editor to render out a distance map which is also gonna be our displacement map. And in order to render something out we need a camera obviously that is why we are gonna be adding a camera and that camera is gonna be orthographic so that we don't get any distortion and the image ratio is gonna be 1 ratio 1. So for the shader we are gonna be using a geometry nodes and the position output which we need to separate out by using the separate xyz and uh, now we have a map but in order for this map to work we need to add 0.5 to it so that gray value is the middle ground. It's finally time to bake but before that go to color management in render properties and change the view transform from filmic to standard to get 100% accurate result. One more thing go to the output properties and choose open exr as a file format as it stores a 32 bit image data which we are gonna be using to render the image out by changing the color depth from half to full. Now we just set up the samples and render it out and there you go that's how you would create a pore brush but uh, wait let me show you how to use this alpha as a brush. Let's add another plane to test the brush out and subdivide it. We are gonna use the draw brush and click on the new texture in the texture settings then go to the texture properties this is where we are gonna open the image. Now let's change some settings for it to work perfectly. We need to uncheck half float precision option otherwise our 32 bit image is gonna turn into 16 bit which we don't want. Then go to the colors and remove the clamp as well otherwise it's gonna remove some of the details. Now we need to go back to the brush setting and change the mapping mode to either view plane or area plane. Change the stroke method to anchored. As you can see this didn't work because we need to change some more settings. The fall off needs to be at constant and the strength needs to be at 1. There is one more problem that we need to solve and you can see it. In order to fix this we need to go back to the textures properties and in color section decrease the brightness to 0.5 and we are finally done. So if you like the brush you are gonna like how and where we use it. So if you wanna learn that then check out this course that I have created where I'm gonna be using this brush and many more. So come and join to learn the full portrait making process in Blender. Bye.